you guys, we have bananas. Come on! It is a beautiful Friday morning here in our lovely backyard here in Southwest Florida. I'm kind of just running around clipping and trimming things and I see we have a whole bunch of bananas and we've got some coconuts. This is super exciting, you guys. When we started hosting our retreats in Costa Rica, we dreamed about someday being able to grow our own fruit. And lo and behold, just a couple years in, we're doing it. I've got 40 or 50 bananas here, some coconuts. We actually also have papayas, but I don't think the papayas are quite ripe yet. Our mango trees are starting to flower, which means mangoes are coming. But again, probably not for at least another couple of months. So more to come this summer. I'm gonna hang these bananas up in the garage so they can continue to ripen and I'll continue to show the progress with you guys. Hey you guys, Aaron here at Eat, Move, Rest and welcome back or if it's your first time to our channel, then welcome. So the days have finally gotten longer and especially here in Florida, spring, almost summer has already sprung. So we have passion fruit, papayas, bananas, coconuts, just an abundance of fruit that is almost ripe for the picking. The hibiscus flowers are popping off. Strawberries are in season. This is definitely prime time in Florida. I'm feeling extra vibrant, so I thought I would share with you guys some very simple, super delicious plant-powered recipes. One thing they will all have in common is that they are all raw. So the reason we love to emphasize raw foods is because they are living foods. That means they have not been denatured or overprocessed or subjected to heat, all of which can damage much of the nutritional value. Needless to say, we're going to be making some fresh and super simple, also kid-friendly recipes. We have been finding the best little mandarins or cuties at the grocery stores. They're so amazing for so many reasons. So vitamin C helps your body produce more of its own collagen, so that leads to healthier skin. It's also a very great immune booster, which we all know. Vitamin C also optimizes your iron absorption. Iron is something we are always focused on because we have small plant-based kiddos, but also because I am now 34 weeks pregnant. So definitely boosting the iron and the vitamin C for multiple reasons. And you can make a super simple one ingredient sorbet with mandarins as well. So that's what I'm doing right now. All I'm doing is peeling mandarins, putting them in a baking dish that I'm going to pop in the freezer for at least four hours. After that, all I'm gonna do is put them in either a high-speed blender or better yet, a food processor and process them until they're almost like a dry, flaky-ish kind of consistency. And then you allow them to thaw for just a couple minutes. It's going to turn into a super smooth and creamy, delicious sorbet consistency. So get out your ice cream scoops and come hungry for the best vitamin C boost of your life. So we're gonna take these out to the kids. They're out in the pool right now and they get to enjoy the deliciousness. All of today's recipes will be uploaded to the meal planner and recipe app, which you will definitely want to have in your arsenal because not only does it contain recipes, it helps you to meal plan. You'll get instant access when you join the Eat Move Rest Club. It's 75% off for life when you join on a yearly basis. You will also get instant access to our entire ebook collection, our private Facebook community. We also have an off social media private community. Right now we are doing a 14 day challenge. We try to do a new challenge of some type every single month. It's been so much fun. We do live calls, live workouts on a weekly basis, live coaching. If you wanna join, it's linked below. Okay, so now we are making some raw vegan wraps in order to have ourselves some hand salads. So this recipe was actually adapted from Lissa Maris's brand new ebook called Hand Salads. So if you're bored with eating just a big bowl full of salad or you're on the go, sometimes having a handheld wrap is the way to do it. I took it upon myself to do a little experimenting and adapting and made my own version of her green goddess wrap. So the ingredients that are in this are insane. There is so much. It's like eating a salad within a salad because these wraps are so dense with nutrients and veggies. So we're gonna blend all of our initial ingredients 
in a high speed blender until it's nice and smooth and then add in your ground flax and psyllium husk powder and blend for no more than another three to five seconds just until it's nice and integrated but you do not want to over blend at this step. From there, we're going to take all of our blended ingredients and pour them evenly onto two separate rimmed silicone sheets that are going to go on our dehydrator trays. So you'll actually spread these about a quarter of an inch thick, which is gonna look thicker than you think they should, but when they dehydrate, they get a lot thinner. And you just wanna make sure you don't have areas that look like this where you can see the tray. We think in order to get our protein and in order to get our iron that we need to be eating beans and lentils and grains, but that's not necessarily the case. If you're eating enough volume of these living plant foods like leafy greens and all these veggies, you're definitely gonna get your iron and protein. We're gonna pop them in the dehydrator at 115 degrees Fahrenheit for about 12 hours. Then you can kind of peel them and check. And if they're still feeling a little moist, then go for up to 16 hours or as long as you need until they are pliable, but they aren't wet and falling apart. So after that, you can either wrap and enjoy right away or fold them up and put them in silicone Ziplocs. Let them breathe in the refrigerator, so don't seal it completely shut. Then they'll be good in the fridge for a couple of days. All right, you guys, so my raw vegan salad wraps are complete. It's literally like a salad wrapped up in a salad. It's so fiber rich, rich in minerals and vitamins and antioxidants and just living enzymes. It's gonna be so good. So now we are making another simple, straightforward dehydrator recipe. We are making fruit leather, better known as fruit roll-ups. So what you're gonna need is four cups of your favorite fruit. So I am doing two cups of mango, two cups of strawberry. I also added in a banana just for a touch of sweetness. The juice of one lime, two tablespoons of ground chia, and you can optionally add in maple syrup to taste. I wouldn't do more than one to two tablespoons though because as the fruit dehydrates, it will intensify the sweetness as it is. So this is only one dehydrator tray for this recipe. It's fairly thick, but it will get a lot thinner when it's dehydrating. I'm gonna pop this in the dehydrator at 115 degrees Fahrenheit for at least 12 hours, probably more like 16 hours, but again, Best to check as you go. So I've got a pizza cutter. I'm gonna cut these fruit roll-ups into strips. They're gonna be so good. So one of our most popular breakfast recipes is our baked berry oats, not just here at home, but with everybody in the meal planner and recipe app, it is so good. But I was finding that every time I would start to mix the ingredients, I couldn't get them in the oven quick enough before the kids would start devouring them. For this recipe, all you're gonna need is two cups of liquid, I like to do one cup water, one cup plant milk, two cups of sprouted rolled oats, one scoop of vanilla protein, which is optional, two ripe mashed bananas, two tablespoons of hemp seeds, I've also done ground chia and or flax, we're really loving the hemp seeds right now, two teaspoons of cinnamon, a pinch of pink Himalayan salt, two cups of berries or cherries of your choice. And for added sweetness, you can also add an optional one to two tablespoons of maple syrup. Give it all a good stir and mix. Sometimes I'll make this bright and early in the morning. I'll pop outside in the garage and do a workout and come back in an hour, hour and a half later and they're already plenty good to go. But you can also leave them overnight. The longer they sit, the more fluffy and thick they will get. All right, you guys, if you enjoyed these raw recipes, if you wanna see more deliciousness, give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and join the Eat, Move, Rest fam. Leave me some love in the comments below and let us know which recipe you cannot wait to try. Like I've mentioned, they are all available in the Eat, Move, Rest meal planner and recipe app, which you can access through our Eat, Move, Rest club. So right now you can get 75% off for life with the link below in the description. Also be sure to grab our free seven day health transformation guide if you are looking to feel better in your body. We talk about the seven main areas of concern, many of which we struggled with before we went plant-based and started consuming a high raw diet. So there are lots of simple tricks, tips, and solutions in there to help you on your way to better health. Until next time, eat, move, rest, your best. Bye guys. There are three things we all do every day and we could all be doing them better. Eat, 
move, and rest. We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, Olivia, and Bo, and we're the Stanzix. We aspire to live a plant-centric, faith-forward, healthy lifestyle and welcome all of the adventures that accompany it. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds in between on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within. 